guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So for the last two weeks, we've been making books using the Made by Our Hands book binding kit. Last week, we had a go at Japanese stab binding and the week before that, we had a go at making a pamphlet book. We finally made it to the last book in the kit. That's the Adventurer's Journal. <laughs> to the final book we can make using the book binding kit and this is the adventurous journal the items in the kit that we will need to make it are paper the bone folder all and ruler the book binding needle thread length of linen thread that's this and a glue sachet, ooh, and one of the spready sticks. Items we will need, which are not part of the kit, are extra scrap paper, scissors, pencil, and my cutting board. The first thing we have to do is take 40 pieces of paper from here and fold them in half. So these are A5 pieces of paper and we're folding them in half to make A6. So we do a gentle fold like this to begin with. And then we're gonna take the bone folder, which is not made of bone, it's made of plastic. And we're gonna smooth that fold out. Oh my gosh, and it's the most satisfying thing. Now I've got to do this another 39 times, which is gonna be forever for you to watch. So I'm going to use the magic fingers <laughs> and when I click them, hopefully we'll have 40 folded pieces of paper. Ooh. Here are all 40 pieces of A5 paper folded into A6. I've assembled them into 10 signatures of four pieces each, which equals eight pages in total. I now have to fold an extra sheet in half the same size as these which is going to be my template okie dokie so there it is folded I want to lay my template perfectly flat just move these out of the way for the moment and mark six holes or sewing stations on the inside Place the first station 2.5 centimeters away from the edge of the notebook. So I think I'm marking them right on the spine this time, where the fold is, which I can barely see. Uh, so we want 2.5. Okay. And a second one, two centimeters away from the first station. So that would be 4.5. Okay, the third station should be separated from the second one by the width of the linen tape. So this is the linen tape, so let's put that down, so that'll be here. Draw the same stations on the other side. I think it means upside down rather than on the other side of the paper. So let's turn it upside down. So we go 2.5, 4.5, linen tape. These two in the middle look very close together. It's what it says. It's what it says to do. 2.5. That is 2.5, isn't it? Then another two centimeters in the width. Okay. <laughs> it's what it says to do. <laughs> it doesn't look like the example though, which is my worry. 
This is the example. They seem much more uh, evenly spaced out. But we'll go with it. Okay, it says now carefully line up the template with each signature and punch through the holes with the all. So here is our first signature. So we're going to put this template one inside like this. So we're all lined up. And we're going to get the all and we're going to poke through. <sighs> oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> and again. Oh, uh, there we go. And again. And again. Oh. One more time. Oof. Okay, so that's that. And now I have to do this with the other nine signatures. Oof. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here are all my signatures with the holes punched in them. And it's looking all right. I think, I think we're doing okay. So next we have to thread the needle with 1.3 meters of waxed thread. That's a lot of uh, goes on the ruler. Ten. There we go. So that's 1.3 meters or 130 centimeters. So let's thread the needle. There we go, and this time we are tying a knot on the other end. So let's do that. I'm going to do a triple tie again, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Okie dokie, so that's all that done. Now we're going to sew all of these together. Pick up the first signature and pull the needle through the bottom station towards the inside of the book. Okay. So, like, just pull this out. So, like this, I believe. Go to the second station, that's this one, and pull the needle through towards the outside of the signature. So it's like this. Okay. Continue weaving back and forth between the station until you have reached the top signature. So let's go through here. Okay, right, so that's the top signature. Cut the linen tape in two, that's this. Anxious, I don't wanna mess it up. We don't have much linen tape. <laughs> okay, cut in two. We have two pieces now. Cut the linen tape in two. Insert one piece of tape under the stitch between stations two and three. That's this one. Yeah. Like this. I don't know how far I'm putting it through. I guess quite far. And then 
inside the next one between four and five which is this one so like this i think okay it says pull the thread tightly but gently being careful not to rip through the stations from the top station pull your needle towards the inside of the book once more uh, It doesn't actually say. Uh, I think we might have missed a step here. Um, but there are pictures. <laughs> there are pictures, so I'm going to follow the pictures for this bit. Um, I want to put this this way, I think. So I think I've got my linen tapes in the wrong direction. I think I now need to go inside this. I think I need to go inside this one. I think. Like, like. Obviously, don't have a knot like I've just created. <laughs> okay, so I think this is what they want me to do, even though they didn't actually say that. Um. <laughs> Then it says, pull your needle through station two towards the outside of the book. So this is station two. Whoops. <laughs> using a kettle stitch to do so pull your needle between the tape and the thread bridging stations two and three of your previous signature pull your needle between the tape and the thread this way we're going this way okay so we're going under here like this between the tape and the thread that bridges two and three of your previous signature before pulling it back over the thread through the next station. So we're going like this, I believe, but not getting stuck on that. <laughs> and then going over like this, I think. Let's see what happens. So in theory, Oops, what's the middle? So in theory, we then pull it like this. And that is a kettle st stitch. And I want to continue weaving the thread, making a kettle, kettle stitch every time I reach the tape by pulling the needle underneath the previous thread. So, okay, so we're going through here. Like that. So then we're going under this bit here. The linen tape and then we're going to go over it to go through this station here okay like that and this is how it looks on the inside so then we're going through this one This is how it looks with the two signatures together. When reaching the end of the second signature, bind the two booklets together using a kettle stitch. Carefully loop your thread around the knot sticking out of the first notebook and pull your needle underneath the loop 
it between the two so like this i think i think like like this is a little hard to show you when it's uh, such a long length of thread that doesn't seem right but it's what's happened so <laughs> we'll go with it uh so then we get the next uh signature and we keep going so we go in through the middle Do a kettle stitch again by going under this thread. There we go. And then going over to go through the station. go through this station <laughs> Pull it through. so we're gonna go under this stitch here nice and then we're gonna go over and through this station through this hole Oops. like that so then I have to go under to create the kettle stitch here okay and then we just add the next station and we keep going until we've gone through all of these so uh, I'm going to put on some calming music and let's just do it, eh?
Okay. <gasps> We've got the shape of a book, guys. After reaching the bottom station and doing the last kettle stitch, weave the thread into the binding a few times to secure your notebook. Cut the thread, leaving a few centimeters dangling. The signatures should now be tightly sewn together, presenting one unified spine. Okay, so we're gonna weave this through a few times and then tie it off, I guess. I know you can get curved needles for this. I can see how they'd be useful. <laughs> okay. Like that. And then I'm going to see if I can knot it with the end of this. have one unified spine ah, what's next what's next <laughs> mm -mm -mm. glue down the ends of your linen tape to the paper use only a little glue apply it to the tape using the wooden stick included in the kit and then press down onto the paper the glue in the sachet dries white rather than transparent so make sure to clean up the edges quickly to remove any extra glue this will make your notebook look cleaner. Once you've done with the glue sachet, dispose it safely in your household general waste bin. You should have quite a lot of it left, so now is the time to fix anything broken you might have around the house. It also then says, add a very small line of glue to the kettle stitch on each side of the notebook to keep them in place. Once the glue is fully dried, your notebook is ready to use. Okay, so let's try and even these up before we get glue involved. I kind of want to trim the edges of the linen a little bit as well because they're a bit frayed. I suppose actually I could just pull them off, right? Boop. <laughs> I feel like I want to put some paper underneath just in case I mess up. This yeah, way. Oh, that just made it worse. <laughs> okay, right, so we want this glue. Ah. It dries white, so we don't want to mess it up. Um, whoops. <laughs> yeah, that might have been too much. You want to put it on the linen. Like that. Oops. <laughs> okay. And. Whoops. Oh, guys, guys. This is messy. We're in the land of messy stuff. That oh. and then we want to turn it over and do the other side. Okay, I want to trim the ends again. Oops. Oops. 
Oops, wrong oh, crumb. Oh no, getting it on everything. <laughs> Okay, so once this dries, bleh, this should be the book. I'm kind of thinking, I want to put a cover on it whilst it's still drying. Voiceover Rachel here telling you to not do anything of what you're about to see me do, especially if you have this kit. These steps were not included. I decided to be clever and I ended up being very silly. The only reason I'm still including this footage is to show you what happens if you do try and run before you can walk when it comes with book binding. The biggest mistake I made was using that red paper. It's printer paper, it's actually thinner than the paper included in the kit. And when I glued it with that very wet natural glue, the glue just crinkled it, it got it everywhere. I got it on me, I got it on my desk, I got it on my cutting board. I got it all over the surface of the red paper, which is what I meant for it to cover in the first place. I kept trying to fix the mistake and made it worse. Just, just don't go there, <laughs> just don't go there. And here are the final three books. As you can see, I managed to rescue this one by putting a new cover on and using different glue. And yeah, I think it turned out all right in the end. It went a bit bubbly here with the glue provided, but honestly, this is nobody's fault but my own. <laughs> It was a perfectly good book before I decided I was going to run before I could walk and put a cover on it. I'm actually really quite proud that I don't know what I can do with this book. Please, can you leave your suggestions in the comment section below? Because I would really love to use it as a book. It seems a shame to have gone to all this effort and not use it for something. As I said in the previous video, the paper is high quality, but it's definitely more writing or sketching paper than watercolor because uh, it's not that absorbent, it's not that thick. In the end, after making these three books, the pamphlet book, the Japanese style punch book and the adventurous journal i can say that the made with our hands book binding kit is really worth it i absolutely recommend it if you're curious about getting into book binding or you want to do a gift for somebody who is curious about book binding they provide nearly everything you need the instructions are clear apart from the one step they missed out in the making of the adventurous journal and uh the <laughs> The cover incident I had, that was down to me. Nowhere in the book did it say to absolutely <laughs> cover the front page with that kind of glue. Maybe it would be better if the glue was uh, provided in a bottle with a thin nozzle. That way you'd only squeeze a little bit out rather than the huge gloop that I did, which kind of led me down my road of mistake after mistake. But apart from that, honestly, I really loved it. I'm going to make the rest of the books in the journal because I've got enough paper to do two more books. I'm going to make them. I think I'm going to give them as gifts. I'm not give this one as a gift. <laughs> I don't think anyone deserves to receive this. <laughs> that would be too cruel. But yeah, I'm really excited to do that and look into more types of bookbinding because I do actually have a project in mind. Please do let me know if bookbinding is something you'd like to see on this channel. Please let me know if you'd like to see any of the other made with our hands kits or kits in general. Please leave suggestions. Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favorite part was. If you could leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd also love to know what you think I should use this book for. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications and share this video, that would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram, TikTok and Threads. Links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions, my Patreon and more. And I'll see you next time. Bye!